and welcome to my second day at Disney World. Today I'm starting in Magic Kingdom. Then the plan is to go on to Animal Kingdom and Hollywood Studios. We'll see how we go. I have a Fast Pass, oh I keep calling it Fast Pass, Lightning Lane for Big Thunder from 9 till 10. But first I'm going to take a couple of photos with the 50th Castle in this cute little pastel outfit with my little purple magic band and cute rose gold ears and then i might meet mickey in town square that should be really fun so let's go just arrived i actually got dropped off at the contemporary so i can avoid the crowds and get there as quickly as possible so i can get the most of my day little trick there and from the contemporary there is a walkway to magic kingdom and here we are at the entrance. The vibes are great. First, I'm gonna go into the Town Square Theatre to meet Mickey Mouse. The line is very long. And there he is. I love his outfit from the good video. Anyway, now I'm going to the castle for a little photo shoot now that I look at it. First look at the 50th castle in the daylight. And here is a closer look at it. Change of plans, it is way too crowded around the castle, so I'm going to do my lightning lane for Big Thunder, then I'm going to go back. Here we are. Standby is only five minutes. That's amazing. Just rode Big Thunder on lightning lane. It was super quick. It was only like five minute wait, which is awesome. Also, while I was in the queue line, I totally fluked a Seven Dwarfs Mine train reservation for like an hour. So that's really amazing. Anyway, my next lightning lane is Water Mansion, so I'm gonna head there. There is Splash Mountain. I look forward to riding it when it's re-themed to the Princess and the Frog. I got a bit sidetracked and I bought two pins, a 50th and a Wildcats, because I played Sharpay in High School Musical and I don't have a High School Musical pin. And here I am at the Haunted Mansion. Now I have redeemed my lightning lane for Haunted Mansion. I can book another one and I'm going to book The Little Mermaid. Come fun. Keep going. There you go. And I've got it. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? Hmm. There are the ride finally getting the hang of the Disney Genie system right now. So I've got another one for Little Mermaid, as I said before. It should be really fun, but first I'm gonna check out the gift shop for Water Mansion. I love all merchandise with the wallpaper. It's so cool. This spirit jersey is also really great. There is the our guest restaurant. I wish I had time to go there this trip. And I also wish they still did the lunch quick service because that was so good. And here's the Little Mermaid ride. I like this version so much more than the Disneyland one. I mean, look at that waterfall. In your hands, you don't look too far. Legs are required for jumping. Dancing strong, you Mine train. I was seriously so lucky to get that lightning lane. I still can't believe it. I don't know why it happened. So yeah, I think that's a lesson of just like keep checking the app because you never know, it might come up. Anyway, I'm going to try again for my castle photo and then I've got a fast pass for, I keep saying fast pass, lightning lane for Space Mountain. There are a bunch of characters around the castle area. As you can see, here is Chip and Dale. And as you can see, over here we have Mickey and Minnie. Over here we have Pluto and Goofy. I love Goofy's pose. And here we have Daisy and Donald. It's Space Mountain time yet again. I'm in the lightning lane right now and there's literally nobody here. So weird. Normally Space Mountain's really popular. I think it's because the Christmas party is on tonight. So I think people that aren't going to the party are in other parts right now. Now there's some people. Thank God. Space Mountain has been crushed. I am now going to wait in the very, 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 very long line for the Seven Doors Mine Train because this is the only place that has the mine train, so it's high priority to get it done at least twice, hopefully three times. We'll see how we go. Just gonna have a quick look at Storybook Circus before I go in. I'm really tempted to buy these because I keep losing my AirPods. They also have the Encanto ears. Adorable. They've got a lot of cute snacks in here. Manning up and doing standby. Wait is 80 minutes. We've got some diamonds over here. 
Mind train is done for a second time. It really took 90 minutes. It was so long, you guys, but so worth it. But I'm really hungry right now because I haven't eaten since breakfast. I only had like a Nutella bar. So I'm gonna hunt for a snack. The confectionery store looks more like an M&M store now. They have some delicious looking treats in here. They've got a 50th cake. They've got Christmas stuff. Very cute. They've also got a glacier kitchen over there where they make slushies. Okay, so I just got this cupcake from Main Street Confectionery for the 50th and it's so cute. I'm so excited to dig in. Here we go. Let's eat. vanilla flavor really really love it however make sure you don't get the blue on your teeth <laughs> just leaving magic kingdom for the last time on this trip unfortunately i don't have time to go again tomorrow but i got this cute bag on the way out very cute for the 50th i'll probably use it a lot for shopping and all that so i'm just chilling out waiting for the bus to animal kingdom i'm again at the contemporary it's such a good hack you guys you definitely should do it hopefully it won't take too long it says it's only going to be about five minutes and i've got two rides to smash at animal kingdom and I'm just booking now a lightning lane for Expedition Everest. Here we are, let's do it. I have arrived at Animal Kingdom, yay! And there is a better look at the entrance. Got my map and I highly recommend that you use it because Animal Kingdom I get lost in all the time even though I've been here so many times. This land they're actually getting rid of soon and they're gonna replace it with Moana and Zootopia. Here we are at the entrance, lightning lane. There we go. A lot of screaming. Loading on now, didn't take much time at all. A very quick lightning lane. I'm going to go right and back and do single rider because I can. As you can see, there's only a couple of people ahead of me, so it's really good. Okay, completed Everest twice. It was a lot of fun. Now I'm going to wait in the Avatar line. It's going to be a while, so I'm going to be very bored. <laughs> I've never actually noticed these before. These are statues of Russell and Duck. Just arrived at the Flight of Passage, and I think it's a 90 minute wait. Look at that waterfall, so pretty. Okay, 90 minutes, let's do this. Look at that, wow. To the Navi, connecting to an Ikran and flying on its back is an incredibly important rite of passage they call Ikni Maya. I still want to adopt a banshee someday because they are so cute. I finished up with Pandora. I am actually going to leave now because there's three rides in Hollywood Studios that I haven't done yet that I really want to do, plus Fantasmic, and I think I've got like, let me see, four, five hours, and I know one has a two hour wait, so pray for me, please. <laughs> Saying a brief hi to the Tree of Life before I leave. I'm walking through Rainforest Cafe on the way out because I love this place. We've got real fish and everything. And we have arrived! Okay, so my plan of attack is Sleepy Dog while it's still somewhat light, Rock and Roll Coaster, and then Star Wars. It has been down. Hopefully, the line will be less when it gets later. Here again, but this time it is night time. I love that sign. It's so classic. I have arrived at Toy Story Land. Fingers crossed it might be a little less than 95 minutes. Oh, I love this ride. I've just decided to mobile order Woody's lunchbox for dinner because this is taking so long and I need to save as much time as I can. That was really easy. I've just got to show up at 7.45. I ordered some potato gems. I'm now going to pick up my mobile order. Just got my potato barrels and I'm going to quickly taste test them before running to my next line. Okay, here we go. Mm. Tastes just like these dry ones. Amazing, highly recommend. I'm not sure if you can tell in this shot, but it's actually snowy. It's time to ride the rock and roll coaster. I love that guitar. I think this ride will get rethemed soon though. And I'm doing single rider. Because the wait time is so long right now for Rise of the Resistance, I won't be able to ride it before Fantasmic. So I'm just going to do single rider for Rock and Roller Coaster again. Let's go. How about some backstage passes? Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rock and Roller Coaster is done, and now I'm off to Fantasmic. The Fantasmic line is long tonight. We are getting closer. I have arrived for Fantasmic. I did get in.
delicious to that. The Moana and the Elsa section especially was so, so good. But unfortunately, Belle was missing from that show. I don't know what happened, but she just wasn't there. So that must be why there was a bit of a delay. Anyway, I am now going to Disney Springs to vibe and finally get my hot chocolate, which I've been craving for like a week. <laughs> I am waiting for my Uber and some fireworks are going off. Entering Disney Springs. I love this place. Here is Ghirardelli, what I've been waiting for. I like this new entrance. Just ordered at Ghirardelli, I ordered a hot chocolate as per usual, and I also got another bag of caramel squares. I have eaten all of the ones I got for my previous trip already. I know, it's only been two months. It's really bad, but they're so delicious. They're like my after audition reward. <laughs> and now my hot chocolate has arrived. Let's give it a taste. Okay, so I'm heading back to my hotel now, which is the Wyndham Lake Bonavista Street. So it is directly opposite Disney Springs, so it's really, really convenient if you like Disney Springs. I only have half day left tomorrow and I'm so sad. Like, two and a half days is not long enough for Disney World, so don't even like attempt it. I'm, I'm so tired. I think I've had four hours sleep for like two nights in a row. Anyway, I've got a pack when I get home and we've got another day tomorrow. I was originally going to go to Epcot, but now I'm tempted to kind of switch to Hollywood Studios because I still haven't done Rise of the Resistance. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye and have a magical day.